so Jordan Peele grew up black dad gone. I did a whole video about this. No black dad around raised by the white mom in the upper West side, possibly the whitest place in North America. And he went to hippy dippy art schools that had gardens on the roof. And he's devoted his career married to a white woman, Chelsea Peretti. He's devoted his career to punishing whites for being racist. And he did get out where we're all evil uh, we want to steal your black body and put our brains in there. That was the horror movie there. And now this one is Al Pacino plays, a, I think, a Holocaust survivor. You watch and you go, okay, whatever. It's, it's Holocaust porn, basically. Um, but then I read more about it, and it's, it's all about this guy who hunts Nazis. How Al Pacino hunts Nazis. But Nazis aren't actual Nazis from World War II, which would be an okay movie. I, I guess I could get into that. It's just people that basically that are conservatives well wow. that's so what i'm saying the, the theme of this show this episode is this is good for us this is good to show that the left wants mega people dead in this in this trailer we can see that the people he hunts and kills even though it's i think it took takes place in the 50s or something they look like mega and they even have red hats they look like christian conservatives white people so it's not nazis it's republicans Okay, make that a movie. Good, good. Put that out there. This is the okay uh, son, don't wear a coat, and then he comes back. Well, you could have got me pants. Yeah, <laughs> I'm punishing. I'm, I'm treating the left like my kids and letting them freeze to death. Yeah. There's a time where we all must choose between the light and the darkness. But when there is great darkness in this world, Perhaps the choice is made for us. I guess you know, he, he, Al Pacino is talking about when he was a Nazi hunter. And this is like he's the narrator. Oh, I see. Jordan Peele is a weirdo. You don't think he's going to get backlash for not casting an actual Jewish person? Nah. Hmm. He's for untouchable. Years, people like us have been degraded and exterminated. But no more. Just pause. You get that? So blacks and Jews have been consistently exterminated in, in history, but no more. We're fighting back. We're going to kill the white people that are killing these Jews and blacks. Interesting. Okay. That's not very nice. We're not killing you. There right? is evil among us. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Weren't the Germans, didn't we go fight in World War II and kill all the Nazis? Yeah. yeah. Those are the Patriots. But well, now, the Patriots now are I'm now Nazis. Now I'm a German? Now I'm the bad guy? I thought I thought Americans and Canadians and everyone went over there and killed the Nazis no, for you. No, no, Americans went over there to kill the Nazis because they were jealous. They were like there could only be one Nazis. Okay. So the we are the Nazis now. All right. Uh huh. You must remember, this evil starts as but a spot inside of them. Then it grows. That's probably worth a lot of money because they don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> to a state. Then it becomes a scourge. Yeah, yeah, pause. Can. You getting the subtext there? What happened to the Nazis? Now they're the ministers of industry. They live here now, and they're the bankers. Okay. That's a weird made-up universe you live in. No such evil until it strikes. So the time to act is now. Before everything we hold dear to us is destroyed. This a man in the high castle spinoff? Pause. Wait, go back. Oh shit! Look at that hat. So, did you get the subtext here? Like the Iron Cross. Basically, they're saying people like me, Proud Boys, Patriots, Trump supporters, Christians, anyone remotely traditional. I know that they seem okay right now. They seem innocent, mm. but they oh. have to be snuffed out. This is your chance to kill baby Hitler. Yes, we're ba conservatives or baby Hitler. There you go. Look. They put you in there. Yeah, there I am. You shaved your chin. Let's get rid of him before he starts World War Four with his fat Three. jokes and dick jokes. <laughs> he's not just jokes. Within the joke is an iron cross. Kill him. Look. Look at that he's depiction, not... too. It's so funny that Jordan Peele was abandoned by his black father and all his rage is reserved for some white barbecue Christian dad that he's never even met. Like that. That guy. Why does Jordan Peele have so much animosity towards that guy? I've met that guy. Those kind of guys are super nice dudes. They're kind of boring, I guess, sometimes. Yeah, kiss the chef. 
This is not murder. This is mitzvah. Whoa. This is not murder, this is mitzvah? Welcome to the run. Isn't he co-opting Jewish oppression? Wow. That's Those weird. are the hunters. They go out and they kill conservatives. <laughs> Jesus Christ, take it easy. What's happening here? I don't know. It's fucking weird. He's trying to be... Oh, he's absolutely trying to be Quentin. Yeah, there's definitely some of that. Absolutely trying to be Quentin. Trying Casting to be QT. A, oh, yeah. Trying to be a cutie. A farty. Um, Farter, all right, man. that's the show, folks. Uh, 